Hello everybody, this is Jerry Capote of WallDecalBusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to weld fonts um, using Adobe Illustrator and uh, and the uh, Roland Cut Studio that comes with your Roland GX24. And I'm going to show you two ways. First of all, using the Adobe Illustrator, which I have here. I'm going to open up a file. And there it is. And as you can see, this, uh, this is uh, a Lucida handwriting italic font and these fonts uh, you know they're attached they they kind of they overlap and in fact if I were to create the outlines as it is create outlines you're gonna notice that uh, the fonts overlap in fact you can see them here and if I were to open the rolling cut studio you're gonna see, you're gonna see that they overlap and that's what your cutter is gonna cut now you want to avoid that at all costs and so here's a way to do that okay it's very simple if you are using the cut studio um, if you have if you're using Roland a Roland uh, cutter and you're using the cut studio you have this little button in the plugin for the cut studio for uh, your Roland cut studio you have a little button right here that uh, it's to merge all these pieces together so if I click on this the the f the text is merged so you now you don't have all those little little uh cuts that are going to be made so it's that simple okay now let's suppose that uh you don't have uh adobe illustrator you only have the cut studio well you can create your designs on cut studio it's a little harder um i like using adobe illustrator cuz it makes things a lot a whole lot easier for me and uh I could do so much more with it, but assuming you're you just have the Cut Studio, well, you can do the same thing. Okay, now uh, what you would do is you would have to do it inside the Cut Studio program, and I'll show you why. Let, let, let me explain something real quick. Let me take a step back. Let's go back and leave this cut as it as it originally was, and I'm I'm going to go back into the Cut Studio. You can't merge in the Cut Studio. You cannot merge. Um, a font that you imported from another program like Illustrator or Corel Draw, um, you just can't. It, it won't allow you to. If, if you try to select the uh, the font or the text, uh, it just doesn't give you an option. However, if you if you type in the font inside the Cut Studio, like I'm going to do right now, and I'm trying to imitate the same exact design, and it uh, I'm going to type in Genesis that's the name there and I'm gonna select it and uh, I'm gonna format the font and I believe it was a Lucida handwriting right so let me see. where is it right down here and click OK and yep that's the font and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna design it here now luckily I have this one down here to to kinda guide me if I wanna make it exactly like that one but if I want to make an original design right on Cut Studio you could do that like I'm doing now so let's say it's that's more or less that's more or less now because the font was typed in the text was typed into the Cut Studio I will be able to weld this uh, all all this all these fonts together so I mean all this uh, text together so all I do is go into right now it's selected right I have it selected I go into properties and I go into merge overlapping text now cut studio calls it merge overlapping text or merge uh, in other programs it might be called weld you might be looking for for uh, that option weld but it's the same thing so I'm gonna merge click on that click OK and now you notice that the that the uh, text that I typed into the cut studio is all welded together just like the one that I cre was able to do on uh, Illustrator earlier and it won't look like this. Hope that helps and uh, I'll see you in the next video.